and reach for the stars, Libra. I'm Bernadette, and I'm here with your Libra Tarot reading for February 2021. There is so much magic and mystery and mythological stuff going on this month, and Libra, you get to be a part of it because Centaur has come for you in this beautiful month of love, and you love love. You love to love love. You love other when other people love love. You just love love. You're all about the finery and the beauty and the sensuality and just every, you want everything to be beautiful. And Centaur is going to help you do that this month. So looking at, at why Centaur has shown up for your reading, um, and yes, these are tarot readings. For those of you just joining us, welcome. For my longtime subscribers, thank you so much. You know you're my heart, you wild ones out there. And um, I read from my own award-winning, history-making, all blah, blah, the marketing stuff my people make me say uh, that I hate. Uh, is the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, which is a 100-card deck, and it has 78 tarot cards that are all, you know, based on the Rider weight, the traditional Rider weight system, and it all correlates um, with the animal ally, the animal spirit guide that wanted to be that card. And then there are 22 bonus cards, and then you can buy expansion packs to make a, a complete set of 149 spirit totem and power animals, all different, that you can work with. And in the Fantasy and Mythological pack, um, Centaur is, uh, is in that pack. So, you know, it is the months of love. And so, you know, listen, it, could, it couldn't hurt, bubba to put a little bit of fantasy in your February, right? Okay. So how Centaur brings that to you is they are part horse and part human. And anytime you add a horse into the mix, you add horse symbolism. Now you're talking about just pure drive, pure like passion and drive and and drive and drive and drive. And you know, uh, Libra, you like to be more balanced. If you're going to be driven for a while, then you want an equal amount of time uh, or what would feel like an equal amount of time to relax. I don't know that you're going to get a whole opportunity to do that this month because of everything that's going on. And additionally, Centaur is uh, just, they, they've got this untamed nature exactly like horses do. And you've got uh, your planetary ruler, which is Venus, right? That's trekking through Aquarius, which is the sign of the rebel. So you've got a horse, you know, symbolism. You've got Centaur symbolism. You know, you've got Aquarius. You've got, you know, rebel guacamole, holy guacamole, things are going to go on for you this month. Some centaurs now, like Chiron, they were known for their healing abilities and great wisdom when it came to the worlds of science and philosophy. And so you may feel very drawn to those subjects during this month. You may feel inclined to draw uh, on your own philosophical nature this month because Libras are nothing if they are not philosophical. They love to weigh both sides of an argument, think about things from different perspectives. And by doing that, you accumulate just a tremendous font of wisdom within your own, you know, within your own vessel, within your own spirit. And this is going to be the ideal time, this February 2021, is going to be the ideal time for your zodiac sign to blend the best of your instinctive, pleasure-seeking, and hedonistic side with your higher wisdom, with your philosophical nature, and you love the natural world. You just love, love, love the natural world. So you may feel like you're being drawn in two different directions this month. And, and again, that's going to create maybe a, a feeling of a little bit of imbalance. But <clears throat> things, uh, you know, again, because your planetary ruler, Venus, is, is moving through Aquarius, it, that could be a little bit of hectic and chaotic energy, you know, under even normal circumstances. But don't expect anything to be normal now, especially because Centaur has shown up in accordance with what, with everything or, or in addition to everything that's going on from a planetary standpoint. It's going to be a time of surprises. Um, it might even be a time of shocking and unprecedented change. And you might feel like everything is in an upheaval, but that's fantastic. Because if I, when I go back to the words that were fed to me, expect nothing to be normal now. You're such a visionary. Libras are such visionaries that you really can embrace. You know, you don't like the shocking change and things that throw you off balance. You don't like that. 
but you can easily embrace um, innovation and radical change and explosive surprises when it's lining up with the rebel in you that that sees a big picture of things. Again, that sees both sides of things. So whatever this thing is that's going on inside of you, it's just big. Like it's it's making me take a really deep breath because there are a large number of planets, including your own, that are lining up in Aquarius that are just, they're driving you forward. And then you've got the horse energy and the centaur energy behind it to roll with these big changes, to roll with these unprecedented times. Because once you tumble out on the other side, you're going to have created and or be involved in something just, I don't know, it, even the, the feel of it, the energy of it just blows my mind. Now, am I saying it's going to be huge mungus? Like, are you going to invent the cure for cancer? I don't know. Maybe you will. But maybe it'll be something as small as, or you think is as small as, I'll tell you a story. You'll get to know me. You'll love my stories. So uh, I have a dear, 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 dear friend. She's like a daughter I never had. And uh, she also does, uh, she's part of the team here at, um, you know, Building Beautiful Souls, Inc., which is my company, and the Ark Animal Spirit, uh, Animal, the Tarot and Oracle deck, and then all of my website properties, that kind of thing. So, uh, and the books. All right. But she, I'm 54. I've been making brownies, and I'm a Southern girl. Okay, we learn how to make a few things. Fried chicken, when I ate meat, I make the heck out of some fried chicken. Macaroni and cheese biscuits, and anything sweet, mostly brownies. So, although pies and cakes, right? So she told me literally just a month ago, she said, you know what? She said, I don't even know why I thought about this, but I, I, I took to putting cinnamon in my brownies. And I thought, I want to try that. Do you see me coming closer to you? Put cinnamon in your chocolate brownies. It will change your life. Now, how that's relevant to you today is think of the pleasure that that you're going to be able to facilitate by bringing cinnamon chocolate brownies to people and you all have uh you all have this old gal i i don't i i think maybe she gave me permission to mention mention her name i'm not sure i'll have to double check with her but you have her to thank for that because she told it to me i tried it Dang near ate an entire pan of brownies all by myself, a big pan of a double batch. Yes, I can eat sugar like that. And I'll never eat a brownie another way. Never. Unless I'm in another country and I just got to have a brownie and, you know, nothing will do but I have a brownie. But it, it, can, it can be something like mind-blowing <clears throat> where it makes you so happy you want to share it with other people. Again, the pleasure you bring. Just this, and then you share that with other people, and they share that with other people, and the next thing you know, you've got a whole cinnamon brownie revolution going on across the world, and and it's bringing people so much pleasure. These are the kind of big, unprecedented changes that you know that can be again, or it can be to finding the cure to cancer. Just you know, Libra, you're really, really good at staying open to all scenarios and all sides of a story. So just stay open to this, and don't don't scurry back because Libras tend to be a little skittish when things are off balance. They like want to cloister themselves away, almost like a cancer, right? Like a cancer zodiac sign. They, they have a tendency to do that. Um, don't do that this time. Just really kind of push yourself through all of that because what's going to come out on the other side is just going to be the most magnificent innovation ever, ever, ever. Okay. So when Venus is traveling through Aquarius, you... Yeah, you're caught in a little bit of a, you know, a washing machine wash. But but because you have such a deep appreciation of pretty much everything and everybody, you you could you could choose to change your perspective on this. And so instead of bracing for what you think might be coming in the month of February, maybe change your perspective and and look forward to that time because you appreciate Aquarians. They are the dreamers of dreams. They are, they're like you, they're visionaries. And, and because you appreciate their, their broad scope and their expansive thinking so much, just set, it, set an intention that whatever bumps 
you know, or off balances may come along the way, that you embrace them as fun. You know, kind of like if you're rafting down a river and you're like, whoa, kind of this, or you're surfing or you're, you know, something in the water element because, you know, Aquarius does have the waters of life flowing from her jug, right? And so maybe you could see that as like exciting and, and like kind of like, ooh, what, what, what kind of excitement can we find here? And that can inspire you to make the needed changes in your love life, in your relationships, engagement with society at large, with your pets, with yourself. So again, change your perspective on this. At least, at least give it a good shot to change your perspective. Because like the centaur, during the month of February, Libra, you are, man, your zodiac sign is really going to feel compelled to explore your desires, um, whatever your pleasures are. And you, you also instinctively know it's not, this is not the time, because you can get so lost in life's luxuries that you just leave this world and you kind of live in another place. But this is not the time to do that, but rather to find ways of, um, mm, how do I put this? Just to find ways of staying more balanced, um, create more justice and equality, use your compassion, um, your unbelievable gift for uh, bringing two warring factions together at like a mediator, like a, a peacemaker. And, you know, do that do that in the service of the greater good. That is, that's going to be very fulfilling to you this month. And you know how to appeal to people's better, you know, to their better angles um, or their angels, really kind of inspiring them through art, through the written word, spoken word, whatever your artistic gifts are, whatever they are, do them. And that can even mean, you know, I talked to, I did a reading for a fellow the other day. And I just kept saying to him, I just see you doing this really deeply spiritual work. And he said, not even. And we went around the block on that a hundred times. And I said, okay, I said, I, I said, I stand by what I'm being told by the, by the animal spirit guides. What is it that you do? Well, he's a welder. Okay. He said, ain't nothing spiritual about that. I said, what do you weld? He said, anything anybody needs, but he's taken to doing free welding for... I don't remember what this is and how he gets to it, but basically he gives free welding to, to down and out folks, people who can't afford it. Oh, I know what it was. Um, he does welding for homeless people when their bicycles need to be fixed. A spoke needs to be soldered back or welded back or their seat has rotted off or whatever. He'll find a seat, you know, whatever that kind of thing. And I'm like, and how is that not spiritual welding? He said, oh, dang. <laughs> so again, this month, Libra, is for you to really see a balance that you may not ordinarily see, even though balance is the thing that you seek the most. You may discount something so small as insignificant or not meaningful when in fact, it's the most beautiful, biggest gift that you could possibly, possibly give. So keep your eye out for that. Now, by the fifth, Venus makes a square in Uranus, who is transitioning another sign ruled by Venus, Taurus. During the week of the fifth, dramatic upheaval and changes can make you feel really unsettled, especially as regards finances. So ramp it down a notch there, Ramjet, with your credit cards, all right? You can work through this time of change, but you got to draw on your skills of you know, flexibility and flexibility means I really want that. And it's on sale. Okay. Be flexible enough to know it will go on sale again and don't burn up the credit cards on the 11th and 12th. Um, Venus is con uh, conjunct to Jupiter and you may have an enhancement or uh, amplification of your attraction energy, which can boost your finances and your love life. And that's when you start attracting those things. And this can also exacerbate some underlying issues that need to be faced and healed in those arenas just now. So in the arenas of finance and, you know, and love relationships, maybe you've got, you're carrying around some baggage or you may still got, you know, be smarting a bit from something gone awry. This is a great time to heal that. Around the 7th, uh, 17th and leading into the 25th, Venus will be in a square with Mars and in Taurus. And that can be a great time of great passion, romance, um, you know, and your more physical needs, my desires might be amplified at that time because of those dramatic changes. You know, listen, again, centaur is about horse energy, and that's a very sexual um, kind of sign. 
but it doesn't necessarily mean physical int intimacy. There is, you know, there's intimacy of all kinds. Just be careful about illusions and desires uh, that could lead you to believe a relationship is stable when it's not. On the final day of February, the moon will be transiting your sign and in opposition to Chiron, the centaur, who is the wounded healer. This can be super important, uh, a super important time for revelations that allow you to do what we were talking about just a minute ago, heal those past wounds. And, and it'll be in a more overt way. It might feel a little dramatic. And that's especially true of wounds that relate to your ability to accept yourself as an individual and not lose yourself in partnerships and relationships, which you tend to do uh, because you want so desperately for things to be balanced. You can become a yes man or a yes woman um, so easily when, whenever you feel like you're giving in or saying yes or going the way your partner wants to go or, you know, and that's in business, that's in even for yourself, with real friend relationships, whatever, um, you can tend to become a people pleaser to try to keep things balanced. This is not the time for that. Please don't do that. Don't do it to yourself. And remember, whatever you do to yourself, you do to the outside world. And so that imbalance is not going to be very helpful. Go ahead and stand your ground as kind of woo as it may feel, and you're going to be right as rain. So, Libra, I hope that was helpful. I hope your zodiac sign spirit is just full and you've got good information to head into February with. I'll see you next month. And always remember, keep reaching for the stars. Mm -hmm.